Hello everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> we have now entered phase two, also known as book two of three. Today we are beginning, or should I say continuing, the work of yesterday's Avengers Tower build. And we are going to be adding looks to be only one story but with extra buildings I guess and the Avengers Towers Quinjet now today I'm only building half of book two only because of the the size of this book for starters is like double books one and three and I'm only doing bags 12 to 17 because, you know, I need to enjoy this build. You know, it's like $760 Australian on Lego. And you don't want to rush it. You want to enjoy every minute of it, every piece. You connect. You want to enjoy that. You want to feel that satisfaction as if you're doing something for the greater good. Which in some ways I am, but people will disagree with me on that anyway. Let me show you the book, and let me show you the characters that will be featured in this part. So, this is what all of Booklet 2 will uh, display to us, but today we're focusing on 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So, in bags 12 to 16, we get um, the ch another Chitari warrior, Hulk, and Iron Man. And then in booklet, se uh, sorry, in bag 17, we get Nick Fury and the Quinjet. And I think that I won't show you the figures in the next page. Well, the next bags 18 to 27, because that will just take away from the excitement. But, I mean, a Chitauri Warrior, Hulk, another version of Iron Man. He looks a bit battle damaged, actually. But, uh, and Nick Fury are all look a, uh, like a great bunch to be doing today's video on. Let's jump straight into it. So we have bag 12 ready to go. Let's do it. All right, everyone. Bag 12 has been completed. <clears throat> in this bag, we got the Incredible Hulk. Very incredible in this. And then we got another Chitari Warrior to further improve the Chitari Legion that we are very slowly growing in. And then we also built this little part of the level. Nothing, nothing major at the moment, but we're getting there. So now it says that we have to combine bags 13 and 14. So here we go. Oh my gosh, and here they are. Let's do this. Bags 13 and 14 have now officially completed. Now, get him out for now. Oh, no, I'll show you him first. So, we've got the battle damaged Iron Man, was in bag 13 and 14, but mostly 13. You can see that he's got a bit of wear and tear on his armor, which is actually why he came in this little area here is because it is actually an Iron Man, Iron Man's personal little workshop thing, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's got a little droid there, another elevator to connect with the other parts of the, the set. But overall, the adventure is going very well, very well. Now it's time for 15 and 16, it says again. So let's do it. Bags 15 and 16 are here and they're ready to go. And just like that, bags 15 and 16 are done. And as a whole, this tower is towering and it's towerific. Here it is. The section that we have just built is officially installed with the rest of the tower. Looking very towery. This is the view from the top. Looking in, the elevator, Iron Man, well, one of his armors getting repaired, little printed labels and everything like that all being installed. Everything 
is officially coming together. Now it's time for bag 17, which is the miniature Quinjet that will eventually go on the Quinjet landing bay in future bags. But here we go. And that's bag 17. And it's about to be built. Hello everybody. Bag 17 is done, right? And in this bag we got Nick Fury. He's a very, very clean figure. I don't think he's exclusive to this set. However, very cool indeed. Still very cool. And in this bag, rather than continuing with the tower, we got to build a miniature scale version of the Quinjet, which is a very clean build. It was very simple and easy, but they had to obviously downgrade the size because, I mean, let me show you. I mean, it's not like the one on the left and the one on the right are exactly comparable considering the one on the left would be maybe considered like $30 little thing or probably 25 whereas this was, when I got it, it was 110 but it was retailing for $160 and... Next, oh, mate, almost, oh no, I shouldn't say that, should I? At least it's not two towers. Anyway, it can't exactly just sit on top of the tower, if you get what I mean. So obviously they had to downscale the Quinjet a bit. But that doesn't make it any less cool that they included anything like that. I mean, comparatively to Lego, the Lego Star Wars they just don't go above and beyond for their their customers, which I think Marvel has completely blitzed it with this Avengers Tower set, like, with just the amount of figures you get and just everything in it. I mean, like, it's not like any other company that I know would go that far for... Die-hard fans, you know, which is very good, which is very good. So the first fi figure from Book 2 Part 1 was the Iron Man battle-damaged figurine, who is phenomenal printing, this one, and it's just brilliant. It's, it's not much different from the other Iron Man, except for the obvious wear and tear on the figure that's been printed on, which is... Very nice. Overall, I reckon a 9 out of 10 figure for this one. The second figure is this Hulk figure. Um, now look, I think this is meant to be the one from Age of Ultron and the Avengers movie, but I mean, just the sort of the facial expression and everything like that kind of makes it seem like Smart Hulk. But I mean, you can definitely... I just like what they've done with the big figs, including like their own hair pieces, like the heads and everything like that. It's just such an improvement. Next, I hope they start get doing something for the legs so you can actually move them. But overall, solid nine out of nine point five actually out of ten figure for this one. And then this is another Chitari warrior from book two so this one I don't it is not any different to the first one so I mean it's the same sort of one with the same sort of gun but overall still a very good figure now last but certainly not least is Nick Fury he was in book two alongside the miniature Quinjet there and is a very clean figure very clean yeah, um, this figure is an exclusive, but is very cool. I'd give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. But yes, so that concludes part 1 of book 2. But part 2 of book 2 is coming your way, and it will be out tomorrow. Now everybody stay safe, safe building and happy adventures and thank you so much for continuing to stay on this journey with me. Please make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below on what, whatever 
you would like to see from the channel, whether that being movies, reactions, or Lego sets to build, Lego reviews, like games, like whatever it is. Just hit like hit the comment section and I'll let you know. Anyway, thank you again for watching and have a bricktastic day.